Hey everyone, Zai here. Welcome back to my devlog. Last episode, we were making some monsters and some powers. This episode, we will be making some levels and fixing the pathfinding and creating some more monsters. And right now, I'm trying to figure out how to best fit the character through the uh, walls. It didn't work for a while. I kept on getting stuck on the edge. So I went in and tried to fix its size. It did not work. I did not know why, and I never found out why. And the pathfinding part of this with the zombie wasn't working either because well, it wasn't exactly going to the player, so I tried to keep making it smaller to try to fix the bug. It did eventually work, but not for a while. And here is what it looks like when you get too close to the monster. It runs at you, navigates around this and chases until you're too far away, but it will still move to where it last saw you. That way you can't just stay 100, oh, 100 blocks away at all times and just move one out and be safe. And also it does damage too, like I think we did last time. I'm pretty sure we did that last time. Oh, also in this episode, we will be making the damage counter up at the top to well, just display how much you have, because it's kind of annoying when you just have to hope that you aren't going to die soon. Like there. Also, after this, we I tried to make all of these two blocks thick, because, well, it looks cooler than one, as I found out. But, um... Then I tried to make the menu follow the player correctly because for some reason it was now glitching out. I did not know why. But eventually I found out that it was just going to the wrong position. Because when I changed the um, size of the uh, hitbox, it messed up the navigation part. And now I was just fixing up the level, adding more guys, and now I was going to create this archer who I'd eventually change out because apparently he can't be seen on screen. Why? It's just a glitch that GDevelop does a lot. Some characters literally can't be seen on screen ever, and there's no real reason. Sometimes it's because the name has a space in it, but this guy doesn't, so I don't know why it would be happening to him. But eventually, I did get this gemstone thing, and I used that as our projectile, because this guy's going to be like an archer mage type thing, though I'm more like a mage than it is, because I'm a diva. And... This guy just shoots arrows, but don't think about it too much, because eventually I did change him out for a orc mage, which I don't think I did for a while. Mostly because I kind of couldn't, because it wouldn't come to my brain. Oh yeah, and I also tried to fix the health thing, because this guy does 3 damage, and I noticed that whenever the 3 damage would hit, it would always go to past 10. That way, I would never die. And that just became very unfair, and I did not like that. And now I'm adding the Orc, orc Shaman. It's not, a, it's not an Orc Mage, it's an Orc Shaman. Shaman or Shaman? How do you pronounce it? I don't know. Leave that in the comments. 
And so I was fixing up this, the things to make it fit. And then I kind of accidentally added the uh, fire to the gem instead of the orc. Why? Who knows? I was tired. It was pretty late. And also this was happening. Yeah. Well, back to the drawing board. And so I, instead of having it fire every 0.1 second, I had it fire over one second, and also I had it disappear when it got off screen. That way the game wouldn't lag just by the sky system. I moved that off for a bit, and then uh, I tried testing it out. But then I realized that it was coming in from a different angle, and it was not shooting. And then that's when I realized that I had it firing from the gem instead of the uh, orc. Which was not my brightest move. And so I just fixed it up. It wasn't too hard, all I just had to do was add a uh, bullet effect to it. And that was kind of it. And I, we're finishing up right now. So if you would like to see more of these videos, then please like, subscribe if you're new, and hit the notification bell. Right now, I am about to finish it up with a dash ability, which end up being pretty cool. I mean, all you had to do was just change the amount of speed I could get to to a higher number, and then set it back when I lift up the left shift button. I sound like Mumbo Jumbo trying to explain redstone. And then, as the last thing, I tried to add this potion. And then I spent like half an hour trying to figure out how to make it three do a 3D flip, as you see right there. It did not work out very well, mostly because I don't think anything was set up correctly with the 3d flip i think there's a way to do it but i did not find that way so after a while i just kind of gave up on it took out the 3d flip 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 3d flip effect and went on with the rest of the stuff but i kind of capped it off there after making this health icon show up and I made it say X plus my health. And this and then I made it so that the position can always be seen on screen. Same way I did for the menu button. And then I finished up with it all. As you can see there, it the health is shown. The shame there's a time when I can't be hit. Thank you all for watching. This has been Sai. I am out.